You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. We're in Las Vegas. We are. I'm John B. And I'm Derek Kessler. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Are you excited? I am. I am excited. Okay, yeah, I'm actually kind of. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm. I don't even try and contain it. I have a good time here. Yeah. And what could be better than having all these awesome guests just come to us with gadgets? I love it. And Radar in the chat room said, that is a whole lot of black rectangles the next guest has atop the table. <laughs> the next guest, of course, being Jeff Gordon from HTC. Hello. Hey, Thanks Jeff. for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. I'm glad to That's be a here. lot of black rectangles. It is a lot of black rectangles. <laughs> HTC has been busy. Um, However, it might not seem as uh, busy and complex in uh, the real world where you live as it would indicate on this uh, table. So what I've decided to bring here today is a whole slew of devices that HTC has come out with over the past year. Um, we're obviously work always working on uh, new and amazing new products, and this past year has been uh, just phenomenal for us with our HTC One line yep. at the high end and the Desire line at the, uh, the mid-range. So that's what I'm showing off here, is basically all the best that we've created over the past year. Well, we've got a close-up cam. Do you want to show us stuff? I what do you want? You want to? You want to work it? I can work it. T let us. Uh, let's. Uh, that's about as much uh, room right. as we've got there. But we can pull them into it. So give us the rundown on all the lineup. Sure, definitely. So why don't we start up uh, here at the top? Because I have the HTC One, which uh, we released uh, well with an announcement in February of last year. It came out in various times around the world between March and April of, two, of 2013. And uh, hands down, it's the best uh, performing device that HTC has ever had. In fact, I think you actually carry I, one I in your pocket, right? I carry one of my own, yeah. I love it. Awesome. And another one on yeah. the staff here. So <laughs> I love to see it. it. Uh, people, uh, people are really, really yeah, uh, happy with you, the HTC One. You could be one. the hand model. The, the, the build quality for the One is unlike anything that HTC has ever done. Uh, the overall design, uh, the software um, uh, enhancements that we've made with Sense 5 on top of the latest version of Android, all of it is basically the best that we can possibly put into a smartphone. One thing I'd like to say about this is the back has a slight curvature to it. It's just kind of a it, sexy little curve. And it feels the amazing back. in the it, hand. Yeah, you know, we worked really, really hard. Our design team, which is led by uh, Scott Croyle at our design team in San Francisco, he and his team just spent uh, literally months and months working on the most premium, jewelry-like design that they could possibly put in the palm of your hand. And I think that they really succeeded in that. And as you look at these other colors, we're now showing wow. the, uh, the blue version, which is available at Best Buy in the U.S., and a similar shade of blue is also available in a global version worldwide. I mean, just an absolutely stunning looking blue. It really jumps that, out. Yeah, with that aluminum unibody, uh, the, the gapless design in the back and so forth. I mean, it just feels really premium in the hand. And that's something that HTC has made the hallmark of our products. And also something that you're continuing, uh, going to continue to see with our devices in 2014 without question. Uh, the next device that we have here, continuing with the HTC One, is uh, the red version, which is also available in the U.S. and globally. And uh, this is probably my favorite version of the HTC One because it is just oh. dead sexy in the red aluminum. Um, basically the same internals as the other HTC One. So just to recap that, and I know probably most of your viewers are pretty well familiar with uh, at this Remind point. Remind us. But, yes. but Snapdragon 600 processor, uh, quad core running at 1.7 gigahertz. It's a 1080p display, um, incredibly high uh, pixels per inch. I mean, vivid display, crisp and beautiful, unlike really anything else on the market. And the audio? Um, audio is Boom Sounds, which I know when we first came out with Boom Sound, people said, oh my gosh, what a sort of funny marketing term. But when you listen to the HTC One it's in impressive. action, oh, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll knock your socks off. In fact, uh, I use my HTC One as my alarm clock in the morning, and, and let's just say <laughs> there have been some discussions with my wife <laughs> over that fact. You can't sleep through that. Yeah, yeah. this now, is true. Now tell me about the, the camera on this. So the camera in the back is something really unique that we've done for, uh, for this year. It's called an Ultra Pixel Camera. And what we've done here is we, we realize that the megapixel myth is it's, it's just that. It's, it's a myth that people are caught up into. Uh, owners of digital SLRs have known about the megapixel myth for years. And yet people who just use their, uh, their phones as a camera 
typically don't know it as they much. They just think more more pixels more, is better, more, and more yeah. of anything is better, right? Exactly, mm. yeah. So what HTC decided is, you know what, we're going to try to break through that megapixel myth. It's going to require a lot of education on the market, but we're going to come out with a camera that we call the Ultra Pixel Camera, which is four ultra pixels, but the pixels are actually much, much larger in size. They're uh, two microns in size, so they let in uh, just a ton more light than your average camera giving you spectacular low light photography. You know, Gets rid of all that noise and graininess. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, taking photos you know, at night or you know, out at the, the bar lounge where you're hanging out with your friends or whatever, you get much better pictures and also obviously great pictures during the daytime as well. And then in addition to the ultra pixel part of the camera, the, the hardware part of the camera, we also made some enhancements to the software side where you can do things like take Zoe's, which is essentially an animated picture and it's not a video, it's an animated picture that's about uh, three seconds long or so. And, uh, and the Zoe's, you can create sort of really compelling stories with your pictures instead of just taking your average ordinary JPEG that's still. Uh, and in the latest version of Sense, you can even make uh, animated GIFs out of that as well, so people have a lot of fun with that. So you're not just working on the hardware front, you're also working on the software side too. A absolutely, yeah. Software uh, makes all the difference. Yep. Sense 5 and the HTC One really moved us forward on the software front. Sense 5.5, .5, which we're now rolling out to uh, the One and the One Max uh, worldwide, uh, that is taking it even further. So we're continuing to enhance that user experience, because we believe that's ultimately what it's all about, is how does the consumer interface with the phone in their hand as opposed to just the speeds and feeds, which in this day and age, everybody's got the fastest processor yeah. and the most RAM they can At fit At some in point, it's fast enough. Now let's figure out what, how do we make what it right. even usable. What do we do with all that yeah. tech? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So run us through the rest of the lineup real quick. So just real quick, I also I wanted to show before we leave the HTC One, this is the HTC One Gold, which is not available in the United States. Oh. It's only available in a few select markets around uh, Europe and Asia. Um, in Europe, for example, it's in the UK and the Nordics. And so this is very rare, very new. Um, it is not the 24. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, sh I should be clear. This is not the 24 karat gold HTC yeah. One that we were just giving away as a prize right. for a contest mm -hmm. that we were running in Times Square in New York City. This is one that you can actually buy uh, in stores. But in my personal opinion, this looks even better than the 24 karat gold one because yeah. it's a little bit more of a toned down champagne gold. So. It's uh, it's pretty hot. It's restrained, but classy. Exactly. Although I doubt you could get the guy who wins the 24 karat gold one to trade it in for this one. But you know, you this he is could true. buy several of these. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so oh. moving through our lineup here, um, next I'll show the the next two iterations on our one flagship line. On the right here, sorry, on uh, your left, we have the HTC One Mini, which we released uh, last summer. And then over here, we have the HTC One Max, which we released in October. Both of those are available in the US as That's well as big. around the world. The Max That's is what she gigantic. Said. Ah. <laughs> and um, it actually looks a little bit uh, even bigger right now because I've got it in the HTC uh, Flip Power Case, which, add, which adds in an extra uh, 1,150 milliamps of battery life. Nice. It doesn't, it doesn't feel all that battery. thick with that case on there. Yeah, you know, I, I think it still feels, yeah, it pretty, feels good pretty good in the pocket. Um, you know, it does take a big pocket. Let's but, compare uh, the size. This is a, a note. So God, that's massive. Little it's bit, even bigger. A little bit bigger. Um, I like it. You have the yeah. boom sound speakers at the top yeah. and bottom. That's right. The screen. So that does add to uh, some of the Oh, the, 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 the physical size, right. E exactly. But the screen yeah. is still The screen a itself larger, is yeah. 5.9 inches uh, at uh, HD, so 1080p screen. Um, and basically has uh, pretty much all of the same specs as the original HTC One, but in a larger body for those customers who want to have the biggest possible screen, the most cinematic experience in the phone and really uh, you know, just a, a stunning device to use, certainly an easy device to type on yeah. with, a, <laughs> with a big keyboard. Well, and what's nice about these and you know, is that when you get it big enough, you don't have to carry a tablet and a phone right. because you, you, you've got enough, you can still make phone calls with this, but you've got enough screen real estate that if you need to log onto a web interface and type some stuff, you can, or if you want to watch a movie, it's a good experience, things like that. It would be a like great that. experience True. for movie on this. Yep. Absolutely, and actually, uh, as an e-reader, I, I think it's a great experience. Exactly. Like, yeah. I, I've long used the HTC Flyer, one of our early tablets that we released as my e-reader. I refuse to give up that device. <laughs> I'm sure many of your viewers remember that from a couple years ago. But finally, this gave me you know, a similar type of experience yep. with the big 5.9-inch screen. So did you switch? Is this your primary? Do you, do you happen? Which one do you use? I use yeah. an HTC One and a One Max okay. virtually every single day. So I have gotcha. a question. Mm -hmm. sure. What's this? 
So we have a fingerprint reader on the back of the device. Okay. And basically, uh, we wanted, because of the size of the device and the fact that it might be a little bit uh, more difficult to type in your, your password mm -hmm. or your PIN number in order to get in the device, especially with one hand, we wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to access your, your information. So with the fingerprint reader on the back, you can program it to read uh, three of your fingers, and you can just swipe one of those fingers real fast, get right into the phone. So you, and you swipe over it like that? Exactly, okay. exactly. Um, and you can also set it up to go straight into a particular application, like the camera app if you wanted to, huh. or to go to nice. the Twitter app if you wanted to. Launch nice. something automatically. Yeah. Exactly. I would love to go through all of the others. We're running a little bit late, but um, sure. It, yeah, it, um, I just I brought some of the the desires that are uh, available elsewhere around the world, so uh, your viewers can check those out online at HTC.com. Uh, they're more of our mid-range phones, so maybe not quite as sexy as the HTC One line, but still some some pretty cool design as well. And we can you can go check it out on uh, AndroidCentral.com. I'm sure. Absolutely, we've got and them all. Oh, definitely. Uh, all Phil and his team over there do a great job, and uh, they have all these devices on there without question. Excellent. Well, thanks, Jeff. We appreciate you coming by to check out all the new sexy HTC items. Thank you very much for having me and expect some pretty amazing things from HTC in 2014 coming Excellent. soon. Looking we do. Looking forward to it. All right. All right, guys. Stay tuned. We've got even more live continuing coverage here at CES. We'll be right back with more after this. <laughs>